This will be a water test of the OnePlus 7 Pro. This phone officially does not have an IP rating. It's not officially rated at IP67 or IP68. I think this phone can handle a little bit of water. So uh, let's find out. I have some Essentia water here. Not sponsored or anything. Just got this at the store not too long ago. Let's see the fingerprint scanner functionality before we get started. Works like a charm. I'm gonna go ahead and go to YouTube and I'm gonna do a search for Put it next to the mic. All right, so that's about half volume. Okay, so I'll just leave it there. That'll be our baseline. And this is my Pixel 3a. So what I'm gonna do right now is, let me go ahead and plug the 3a in. Open the clock app right now. On the 3a, I'm gonna put it right there so you can see it. All right, so basically this is my water. I'm gonna open it right now. Just pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna turn on the... The OnePlus. And then here's the water. And I'm just gonna start pouring. And let's... Go. Oh man. Woo baby. Put the bottle to the side. So then let's check this out. Will the screen work underwater? Kind of doubt it. Nope, it does not. I thought so. So I'm going to go ahead and just... You guys can see that, right? I'm going to put the timer right here. We're 40 seconds into the test. Move it around a little bit. Just a little bit. Flip this over. Why not? So you can see, one plus in the nebula blue colorway. Oh! Man, move it around a little bit. Oh, okay, screen still works. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, how long should I go? Now the IP rating system, I think they tested for about half an hour, right? So this is obviously not, this is just in a container. It's not like a meter deep or two meters deep or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just, I'm just gonna, let's go for 30 minutes, 30 full minutes. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna speed the video up in post obviously, but I'm gonna leave the camera running for half an hour. Um, and then I'll be back at that time. See you in a little bit. two minutes or so my camera actually shut down I'm filming with a Sony a6500 looks like there's a 30 minute cut off on this camera so it turned off so that's why there's a gap in time all right trust me this video is not fake all right so just letting you know this video is not fake <laughs> anyways so 33 minutes into it and uh, let's check the phone and here's the one plus actually and now I'm gonna take the phone out. Oh, okay, well, that's a good sign. Always on display, still working. Fingerprint works. Not recognized, maybe because it's wet a little bit. Too many attempts. Okay, let me put in my pattern. Let's try the fingerprint again, maybe because it's just, yeah, it's not working because the 
my finger is probably wet a little bit. So let me dry that off and see what happens. Okay, it works. So even if you have a little bit of moisture on your finger, fingerprint scanner may not work. So anyway, I'm gonna get this water out of here. Thank you very much. I'm gonna dry the phone and we'll just go check it out. Test for functionality, etc. All right. I'm gonna fling any water that might be in the speakers. All right, there's the scanner. Works just fine once you dry it off and then we'll go back to YouTube and then same volume as before and let's play. All right, a little bit of a muffled sound than before. Let me see if I can try to fling all the water out. Ooh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that on camera, a lot of water. Wow. So let me dry that off. And I'm gonna do it again. And my cat's actually right here paying me a visit. So, hey, are you gonna hop on the table or what? It'll be funny if she does. Anyway, let me go ahead and do that. And then let's test out this video again. to say sounds pretty good so i think i'm gonna give the speakers a pass all right so let's just take a look at the phone real quick let's take a look at the camera lens i'm not seeing any moisture inside of the glass or anything so that is a good sign obviously the screen works and then here's my cat what did i say <laughs> you want to be part of this water test zimba that's her name you want to be in this video, huh? She wants attention. Ugh. All right, so where was I? I lost my, lost my train of thought. Hey! <laughs> you want attention, huh? Hold on, let me just finish this video real quick. Okay? Let me just finish this video, and then I can give you all the attention you want. You don't want to, you don't want to drink this water. It's, phone stuff in it all right my bad got distracted a little bit um so what was i doing um yeah the uh speakers work let's test out the camera real quick the uh front facing camera so we'll we'll flip it and as you can see works just fine uh, yeah, no issues. Let me take a look at the camera, actually. And yeah, there's a little bit of moisture in the lens, but nothing too bad. Just wipe it off and should be fine. So let's take a test of the, real, the rear camera. If my cat would give me the opportunity to take a picture. All right, here's the wide angle shot. Normal, shot, and then 3x optical zoom right into the Pixel 3a XL box, snap. I'll put these in the video. Looks pretty good from the viewfinder. I don't think there's any moisture in it. Cool, so overall, the OnePlus 7 Pro is, I'm gonna say, water resistant. It's not waterproof, so if you accidentally dunk this into a little bit of water, it should be fine. As long as you pick it up right away, your phone should come out all right. So major props to OnePlus for making this phone water resistant now, even though it's not officially IP rated. It's nice that they're doing this now to the OnePlus. All right, so let me know in the comments below what you thought about this test. 
If you have a OnePlus 7 Pro, have you already had any accidents with it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.